everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nadesh and in today's video I will show you how I use a bentonite clay mask on my hair. This was actually the first time for me trying out bentonite clay for my hair. Um, I've seen a lot of videos out there and I keep hearing more and more in the curl community about people using bentonite clay for their hair and I just thought I'd give it a try. Um, this is actually the result that I've got with the bentonite clay mask, my hair is very bouncy, very soft and strong at the same time. It feels like it holds the curl much more. So there's a few reasons why people use bentonite clay on their hair. It's a detox for your scalp and hair, and it apparently draws out chemicals, bacteria, and toxins from the scalp and hair. The ingredients I'm using for this mask are of course bentonite clay, extra virgin olive oil, some apple cider vinegar, and I'm also mixing in some peppermint essential oil. So I'm starting off this mixture with one big spoon of the bentonite clay and putting it in my mixing bowl. So I'm also using a spoon of apple cider vinegar. This can be uh, used as an anti-inflammatory for the scalp. Uh, but it also gets rid of any excess oils on your hair. Since we're getting rid of some moisture in the hair, we also make sure to lock in new moisture. So I'm also putting in one big spoon of olive oil. I'm also putting in a few drops of peppermint essential oil and I do this to stimulate the scalp. And now I start mixing it all up and adding some water to get the nice consistency. You can add as much water or as little as you want. I like uh, the mask to have a little bit of a pasty consistency. So I just kept stirring until I was satisfied with the mask. Okay, so this is very important. Make sure you wear an old t-shirt that can get dirty and use an old towel that is also okay <laughs> if it gets dirty. Um, I start wetting my hair and then just rubbing in the mask on my scalp, but also uh, making sure that it covers all of my hair. Um, I wouldn't recommend you brushing through your hair once you have the mask in um, because it does get dry pretty fast and you don't want to break your hair while you're putting in the mask, of course. Um, so just gently make sure that you're rubbing it in and uh, just saturate all of your hair. You can leave the mask in for as long as it takes for it to dry. I believe I left it in for about half an hour before I washed it out. And I also used some shampoo to make sure to really get rid of all of the mask. This is the final result. It left my hair very defined and with a lot of shine. So if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.